Yo, this is the Sky City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors at Alpha Claims and Hire, Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company, get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. I really appreciate you joining me today and this story comes from Birmingham and we've got some news coming from London in the next episode. This story happened last year. When this story broke initially on September the 30th, it said the armed police had sealed off a city street in the Bartley Green area on Monmouth Road on Tuesday night. This is just off the junction of Cromwell Lane. Police initially said drugs and firearms were found in the flat and a 24-year-old and a 39-year-old were arrested on suspicion of firearm offences and were currently in custody. Because it took place in a flat block with communal areas, they wouldn't allow residents to go into their own flats. And this is very common. There was a mother with children there that day and she told the papers that she wasn't allowed in. And today, after the sentencing, police have released the footage of the moment they arrested two men in Bartley Green. Got the oh, we got there. Hold, hold, hold. Well, I'm coming out. Coming out. Oh, hey, your hands. Show your hands. Show your hands. Walk up. Stay where you are. Show oh. your hands. Turn around. Put your arms there. Down the floor. Down the floor. Oh, face, face down! Face down. Get your hands up! Okay, I've seen KFC. Leslie Carter and Keelan Simpson, they said, had access to firearms. They received intelligence that in a block of flats there was guns. And the footage shows when police entered the block of flats and someone comes out the door just as they're about to enter. Carter, aged 39, and Simpson, aged 24, were detained and the flat was searched. They found four guns, half a kilo of cocaine and a 50-plant cannabis farm. Three of the guns were revolvers and a black handgun that were found hidden in a rucksack along with 80 rounds of ammunition. The ammunition was lead shot casings and they had equipment to make more ammunition and instruction leaflets on how to make your own bullets. But there was no evidence they had actually made the rounds in that property. The cocaine was estimated to be worth £19,000 and was found in a black leather bag and a branded red carrier bag. They said detectives trawled CCTV in the area and found Carter was in Barn Peace in Quinton carrying the bags in public. He went on to admit possession of firearms and ammunition and Class A drugs and cannabis cultivation, while Simpson from Stonehouse Lane in Quinton admitted the firearm offences and cannabis cultivation. At Birmingham Crown Court on the 22nd of February this year, Keelan was jailed for nine years and Carter was jailed for seven years and six months. Detective Sergeant Dan Tang from the Metropolitan Regional Organised Crime Unit said they certainly got a shock when they opened the flat door. The revolvers were examined by ballistic experts and identified as being manufactured in the late 1800s. However, they were fully functioning and lethal weapons. The 9mm handgun was a semi-automatic and fully automatic modes were also enabled and they had three unfired bullets in the magazine. So this definitely goes to show this is a danger and a risk that everyone takes every single day when you're surrounding yourself with any sorts of firearms. And hopefully these guys can turn their lives around when they come out of prison and do not return. And in some other news from Birmingham as well, two teenage boys have been charged with kidnapping two children. The boys are 15 years old and the children were two and four. It was a carjacking that took place at 5pm on the 20th of February. Two children were in the back of the car when this happened and now they've been charged with the offences. They was alerted to the incident at 5pm when the children's distraught dad reported the car had been stolen with his two children inside. Due to the serious nature of the incident, officers from response traffic and firearms were immediately dispatched with dog units and a helicopter. At one point, the stolen car was driving the wrong way down a dual carriageway, but armed officers were able to bring it to a halt on the A38 Bristol Road near Balgrave Interchange. Whoa. Thankfully, both children were safe inside and were reunited with their parents on the roadside. 
Chief Inspector Lee Wigan said this incident is every parent's worst nightmare and we will charge and convict anybody that takes the risk of abducting a child. So these teenagers may have just been going out to rob a car and now they've found themselves inadvertently receiving kidnap charges which could actually get them a long time in prison. And in the small heath area of Birmingham yesterday, a man who refused to stop for police in the Northfield area was given chase after a car crash on Coventry Road. Dozens of people filmed the incident and shared it online as a motorbike police officer makes the arrest. So this is just a brief update of some news that has been going on in Birmingham and we've got some London news coming up in the next episode. I really appreciate it if you like, comment, share and subscribe and follow us online as well at Scar City Studios. I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Peace. <laughs> Fucking hell, bro.